Hello, dear friends. Okay, all right. Hello, dear friends. Okay, where's Anna? I always, have you noticed I don't have my glasses on? Oh, there she is. <laughs> How are you, Anna? Okay, so I don't have my glasses on, but that's okay. Anna has to pick up her baby, her Nicholas, from school. And I call him baby because he's my baby. He's always going to be my baby. Uh, okay, so... Um, I don't have my glasses on, so therefore my eyes look smaller because when you have glasses on, it, they look larger than they really are. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. We'll wait. So... Let's see how many people. There's five people. Come. There's seven people now. Please, uh, Tooth Fairy. And who else is? Ah, there you are. All right, Tooth Fairy. How are you? Very cold. Hi, Mary. Uh, yes, you remembered <laughs> what happened. With Mary, we have become very good friends. And so she comes to a knitting class that we have on Tuesdays. And uh, and before we go to the knitting class, she and I go to have lunch. And we have wonderful lunch and we talk and we, you know, we socialize. She's such a neat lady. Okay. <laughs> um, what? Tired, but it, you're tired? Is it very late there now? Desde Caracas. <gasps> José Mejía, desde Caracas. Muchas gracias por estar con nosotras. Ay, qué linda. Hi, Carla. Anyway. This is what we're going to be talking about. You see, there is something called Italian cast on. And with the Italian cast on, I will show you that it is very good for a knit one pearl one ribbing, which is what I have here. You see that? It's a knit one pro one ribbing, but it looks like a round, like circular, like, like it doesn't start or end. So it's very nice if you have like a hat and that's the way it looks at the beginning. See? And it looked, and, and maybe gloves or anything that you don't want to have a normal cast on and you want it to follow a knit one pro one ribbing. This is the way it's done. And uh, I Anna will have a tutorial on that. And it's very, very nice to have. So the Italian cast on, let me show you what happens. You need to, where is it? Okay. Italian cast on, Italian cast on. So, let me see if you can follow what I am going to be doing. So you leave the tail, normal tail, like if you were making it like a, a, a butterfly cast on, or, you know, a long tail cast on. And you are going to put your, let's see if you can see this. 
So you put your needle under there and just leave it there. And then you're going to go under and pick up the back, pass it through, and there you have one. Okay, let's let's do that again. Okay, let's I don't think so. Okay, let's do this. So under over and there it is. And then under the two pick up the back and there's another one. And so what you want to do is go under, pick up the back, and there you have the knit. And then under both, pick up the back, and you have a pearl. But I am going to make a video on that because um, it is... It is very simple. Once you get it, it's very, very simple. But you do need to get the drill of it. I know I don't look very nice, but you know what happens is that I fell. And, uh, and that was about two weeks ago. And I still have purple under my eyes. I don't have my glasses. And so I have contacts, but my glasses hit my face when I fell. And so I have all that purple there, and it doesn't look pretty. But I'll be all right. I feel good. So and we need to be very careful how we move because the older you get, you don't have the same... Um, pick up stuff. <laughs> anyway, it happens. It just happens. I know a lot of friends that have fallen and they have had uh, broken bones and stuff like that. Thank God I haven't, but uh, knock on wood. Okay, so what is it? Oh, what is it? Hello. Thank you. Thank you, Priscilla. It is very interesting because this stitch, see, it, it doesn't have, let me show you. This is the front. No, this is the front. Okay. Whatever side works for you. Like this is the front and see how it goes around. And it's a knit one, pearl one. So what you do is that once you knit, you, once you do the initial cast on, you have to have two rows at least of knit one and pass one as if to pearl. Knit one and pass one as if to pearl. And the passing as if to pearl has to be with the yarn in front because you want the pearl the yarn that goes through, you want it to look as a pearl. So, but I'll make a, a video on that. It's very interesting because it makes it a very, very nice beginning for anything that you need to make. So something else that we have done is that here I have... Here I have a bind off. It, it's called, I don't know what it's called, but it's called sewing bind off. And the beginning looks the same as the end. See what I mean? They look the same. So if you want the beginning and the end to look the same, you do a needle bind off. And that is, we're going to have that video. It's already done, so Anna can decide when that is going to be shown. Okay, so that's the uh, sew, sewn bind off. And 
this one here. Let me get it. This one here is the three three stitch bind off. And see how pretty it looks? See it's like it looks like a pico. See what it is? So it looks very pretty. This even on the wrong side it looks pretty. But this is the right side. And see how it gives it kind of a pico finish. So this is a three stitch bind off. And it's very, very flexible. So whenever you have something that you want to have flexible at the top and at the bottom, use this straight. This one is also stretchy. See? So there it is. So remember that we have online also the two side rib, the, the two side ribbing. So it's like this on one side, see? And like this on the other side and they were knitting, knitted at the same time. So we have double sided ribbing that we have online also. So what are you talking about? Bonjour. Found <laughs> difficulty in it. It's Oh no, you, you yeah, you need to you know get on uh making more stuff with knit and pearl try doing a lot of ribbing so you understand what the knit and pearl is yeah a lot of people don't like to pearl i have a student her name is tawny and she doesn't pearl she just decided that she doesn't want to do that and that is it and the reason she knits is because she wants to come home and rest. And she wants only easy stuff. So she has stitches that it's so they're only knitted stitches. And that's fine with me. If that's what she wants, that's okay. There's a lot of stitches that are only knit. So, you know, that's okay. What is it? Katie says, many people, yes. What is it? Yes, in order to get, we don't have the reflexes. I know. And what happened to me is that I sat, we, I sat on my bed and I did not go deep enough on my bed so I slipped and went to the side and hit the table next to my bed and I hit it with my glasses on so I hit the table and I have that thing here and that was two weeks ago and I hit the table and the lamp fell on my head Anyway, it was really messy, but we have to be careful. Okay. No, we don't have the reflexes. Thank you very much, Maria. What is it? Not much? What? Not this time. Thank you. <laughs> It's okay, but I'm okay now. I went to get a, an MRI, and my head is, <laughs> my brain is okay. <laughs> so as long as my brain is in place, I'm okay. So anyway, thank you very much. 
<laughs> I know you're not chatting as much, but anyway, we already talked about the round, the Italian cast on, and we talked about the bind offs, the two needle bind off, three stitch bind off. And we already talked about the uh, the double knitting. So it's very interesting what we can do with the double knitting. It's amazing because you can make really warm things with that. We started posting on TikTok. Hi, Marilyn. How are you, Marta? No, it's okay, Marta. I'm really okay. It's just that I still have, you know, bruise here and here. But once it goes away, my eyes are much better. You should have seen them. They were purple. But anyway, I'm doing much, much better. Thank you very much. And I'm doing well. So, uh, okay. What is it? TikTok? Okay. N you knitted hats mainly for baby girls. Oh, oh, no. Do you have any cut? Yeah, we will make some to fairy if you want. We have made two hats lately. One with the uh, basket weave the uh, elongated basket weave and one, what was it? With the ribbing, knit one, uh, no, knit two pro two ribbing. I don't know what is up already. Anna is the one that knows because she's the one that does that. When you laugh, just say yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. <laughs> You're sweet. What is a little heart set? A sweet. No, Priscilla, I am not seriously. I went to the emergency room and they did an MRI on my neck and my head. <laughs> Stuff is still in place. Thank you very much for your concern. But I'm well. I'm well. It's just that I wanted to explain the bruises here because they do not look. But I have contacts. I do not have my glasses. I have contacts. And I feel very what about that? Because at the beach, when you're at the beach, you don't want to have glasses. And, you know, those glasses that goes on top of glasses. I have those. But I want to wear nice sunglasses. And I want to be, you know, nice. And anyway, everybody works to look nice. And I hope once this is gone, it will be okay. Okay, what is it? Thank you, thank you very much for being with us. And no, don't, don't fall off. Don't fall off, LH. <laughs> don't do that. No, what I'm saying is that we need to be very aware of how we move because it is very easy. I fell once also. When I was putting down a bag and I just went over it. Anyway, anyway, it happens. Yes. No, I don't have, I don't have, uh, yes, I will have new glasses, but I have sunglasses and these are contacts. So thank you, thank you very much for being with us. Just another story. You, you missed the cast on. And this is the way it looks. See, and it's rounded. And I promise I will make 
a, a video on how to do the Italian cast on because it's for ribbing. Knit one per one, knit one per one, like for a hat or gloves or something like that. And the Italian cast on is very nice and it's very stretchy, see? Very, very stretchy. So it's very nice. So I will make a video on how to do that. And uh, what is it? A retina operation on your eye? Oh, yeah. Yeah, cataracts. A lot of my friends have had the operation of cataracts. No. No, because when you have cataracts, what they do is that they put a lens that you can see with. And you decide whether you want it to look close or far. But they put lenses. Now, I hope... When you get a cataract operation, which I don't need to, you can choose eventually a, uh, a bifocal, which would be very nice. I have bifocals now, and it, they're wonderful, just wonderful, because before I used to have this eye to look for and this eye to look close, and now they're both bifocals, which I really love. Technology is awesome. So anyway, thank you, thank you very much. Anna has a TikTok uh, page, and she is a lot of fun. Please look into it. Waterfall paper. Oh. Look, the uh, Anna makes watercolor uh, art, and she is awesome. Please check out her page. It is just wonderful. Thank you for being with us. I know I have overstated, <laughs> but thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, L LH. Tooth Fairy, thank you very much. Hi, Maria. Socks and pullovers, yes. Socks and pullovers, as long as the ribbing is knit one per one, if it's knit one per one like this, then this is a magnificent ribbing to start it. Just make sure you make your two rows of knit one past one. So that, uh, so that it stays in place. Thank you very much. Bye, everyone. Be well. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Bye-bye. See you next Wednesday at noon.